All right, this video is going to show you how to install bobbin winder on a uh, Singer 500A or 503A. To start off with, we've got um, a variety of parts, which I'll show you. First, you have your tab, which releases once a winder or once your bobbin's full. It's got a screw. You've got this piece. The screw goes through it. And then you have a washer. And then a spring. Now the spring has a little indexed upper tab. So we're just going to lay that on there for now like this. And now we have our our winder itself with the rubber wheel, new wheel on it. This screw here is for adjusting the tension of your tire against the stem that's on the motor. This also has a screw. And then we have another spring assembly. First, we have two screws here that we undo to take our lid off. And then we can see inside the machine. There's a little uh, metal tray that actually has a hole through it, which holds the wire, keeps the wire from the lamp from hitting any internal, internal parts. So first we're going to take our, our tab, which is the release. And we are going to put this in place. It goes on here with the screw you can see there's a little stem right here sticking out which is going to catch this other part of the spring so we put it on here so we'll screw it on And then tighten it down. So you can see this has a lot of a lot of play here. You probably want to oil that when you put it into place too. So we're going to put the actual winder assembly on now. We have the spring. Remember with this long piece. Make sure if you're buying one that this long section is on there because that's the part that breaks all the time so we're going to put our spring so the one section goes under here and we're through the screw so we push this forward and we'll bring our tab all the way over, bring the wheel back into position, and then lift the spring up over the edge and pop it in. Now you want to make sure you don't pinch the spring under this, this screw. So just keep it centered. Clamp your screw down. Now there's supposed to be a stem from the motor coming up here. This motor is removed, so it's not here. But you can see when you put it into place, we pop a, pop a bobbin on there, push the tab, and it locks it in. This will hit the wheel and it'll wind, and then once your bobbin's full, it releases it, and off it comes. So it's a little tricky, like I said, doing, doing the spring when you don't know at first. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but you want to make sure you have this, this one, you know, rolled out to the outside. So then when you pop your, your lid back on, you're, you're up over, you go around the winder, you got your two screws to put in. 
and then you can see push it forward winding it fills and then releases and i hope this helps you